Okay, so I'm going to be doing a epistemology article out of this anthology epistemology. Um, this is a video about the article, The Generality Problem for Reliabilism by Paul Connie and Richard Feldman. Um, so, reliabilism is the externalist theory of knowledge, which states that a belief is, is justified if and only if it is produced by a process that reliably reliably leads to true beliefs. So they ask the question as to whether a belief was formed by a process that was reliable or not. Say wishful thinking would be a unreliable process of which to gain a belief. Therefore, you could not confer justification of that of a belief which which came up which one came upon by wishful thinking so Feldman and Connie are responding to um, externalism of Alvin Goldman William Alston and many of many different other thinkers who have argued process reliabilism and it's just that it's um, states that um, that we know that a belief is, is justified if it was formed with a reliable process. One of those one of those reliable processes could be common sense, like perception, um, or science, for one. These are these are some solutions that Feldman and Connie state could be a solution to the to the generality problem. The generality problem is. Um, a problem that uh, is pretty much, in my opinion, is a pretty big crippling problem for reliabilism. I'm not, I myself would not um, be one to argue reliabilism or any kind of externalist theory of, of knowledge. Um, these two argue internalism and evidentialism, and I would be more, more attuned toward that. Um, but uh, a reliableist theory identifies with the clarity of the nature of the processes that it invokes. And the the, the, the generality problem he gives they give a uh, example of about a lady named Smith, Smith and, and the maple tree, where Smith is justified if and only if the process got her. To the belief of a of, of, of a maple tree outside her house. Um, that's that's a typical thing. Most reliableist theories would most reliableist theories would um, give you a example that oh you are justified in believing that there is a that there is a maple tree outside your house if and only if you perceived it, or you intuited it, or if you had some sort of causal process between you and, you and the tree, you know, that kind of common sense stuff. So, most process, re process reliableists will say that if you perceive the tree outside your window, that is a, that is basically a, uh, um, that's basically a key to justification because that's a a um, reliable process of how you how you how you, how you come upon that um, belief. The Smith example is that Smith is sitting in her house. She sees the maple tree outside her house. There are causal events that occur between her and the tree. And most reliableist theories, you know, up you know, in like the 70s and, and 80s in the 90s things got a little more complicated with th issues like this um, Basically, you know, you would have a justified belief because it was came upon by a, re a, a reliable process the question here is that it's really general how They talk about process re reliableism 
it's a reliable a, re, a reliable belief comes from causally active events coming together to to, to bring to bring about belief. Um, reliable uh, a reliable belief comes from a sequence of concrete events. And reliability re, reliability is a kind of tendency. It applies straight straightforwardly with with enduring mechanisms like your eyes and your ears the things used to perceive um, and things like the Smith example those are visually initiated belief formation reliability doesn't apply to the, the, the particular sequence of events that, that, that applies to Smith that's very general as to how things are explained in the in the Smith in the Smith example. Um, the generality problem is that you can't just say, "Oh, he, he or she used um, used uh, visually his uh, his uh, his um, he used his visual um, uh, mechanisms." To perceive the tree, and because that is a common sense process, then he or she is justified because that is a reliable process. That is one single event, and that is that is very difficult because what you have to do, according to them, is you have to set up or uh, what you have to do as a as a, as a reliable. So you have to seek. You have to seek out types of processes for of which particular causal sequences are tokens so you have to figure out you have to figure out for which you know given the smith example is a token a token is a particular causal sequence um you have to figure out which type are we talking about given this example and is this a reliable process of um under that type so you have a lot more work to do given all of that and yeah, I'm gonna read a certain part here okay Process reliabilists who realize this have sought the requisite reliability in types of process of which particular causes, causal sequences are tokens. Process reliable, reliability theories confront the question of which type must be reliable for the, for, 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 for the resulting belief to be justified. A solution, a solution identifies a type whose reliability determines whether a process token yields justification. Without a, without a specific Without a specification of the relevant type, process reliabilism, re reliabilism is radically incomplete. They purport, the the reliabilists purport, to determine whether or not a given belief is justified according to reliabilism using nothing more than, than one description of, of the process causing the belief. The theory must first be elaborated at least enough to imply exactly what process type has to be reliable in the case in question. So you have to... Um, understand you can't just give one example or one process of how one comes upon a belief and say oh it's a it's a reliable process therefore it's justified so saying that is a is a according to them is a incomplete um reliableist theory and it's general in that you don't have picked out what type that 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 token falls under and therefore you cannot evaluate it furthermore if you want to use if you want to use common sense types like like perception intuition observation you have to have enduring mechanisms you can't have just one time that this occurs and then say that it's Say that it, it say that it's a reliable process unless the unless the belief resulting is is justified. You have to have 
an enduring mechanism. Furthermore, what process type has to be reliable? Specify which, which situations of a process type's operation determine whether or not the type is actually re reliable. So to figure out um, whether someone given a given a token process to figure out whether one's process was reliable and thus the belief resulting is justified you have to figure out what type that certain token falls under and you have to be very more much more specific as to what kind of of process we are talking about and what type the such token falls under. You can give tons of different examples as to, you know, how such and such is a process which 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 a resulting belief of which leads to justification. But even it even in each case, you know, you are giving one example, one process, one causal event, and that doesn't really get you anywhere. It it makes things it's that 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 leaves things in a very in a very general state. So Feldman and Connie kind of give a give a few conditions for a a, a solution. It must be principled. A solution cannot be to case by case. It has to be we have to have we have to it has to be dealing with relevant or suitable types of, of the processes and as to what suitable type or relevant type means is a difficult thing and they kind of point that out um, how some reliableist thinkers will point out um, how will say that that we have to figure out what type is suitable um, or relevant and that's kind of a great area as to what type of process belief for certain tokens are suitable or relevant. Um, as to and the question is, what makes the process type relevant or suits or suitable? Um, and the second one is. It has to, the rule has to make defensible ep epistemic classifications, which is the, the general rule, like the general rule of relevance, assigning some type or other to each process token, um, correlating with the justification of each belief. Thirdly, this is my, fav my favorite one because I've read a few articles that do this. Um, the solution must remain true to the spirit of the reliableist approach. Like there are closet re re reliableists who, who appeal to notions of evidence, um, and uh, <laughs> they that's a pseudo re re reliableism, and it is it is in no way external. It is in fact an internalist. So if we have a closet Reliableist that is basically a internalist or a evidentialist kind of like these two are um, So a reliableist theory cannot up, up, uh, cannot Appeal to a notion of evidence and still be a true reliableist theory Because um, that's something that takes that that would take such a theory out of the out of the um, ballpark of externalism even so um, so he gives a few different solutions that could um, possibly solve this this problem however they both say that solutions to, to the to the to the to the to the generality problem are worse than bleak and it would be very difficult for uh, an actual solution to propose
proponent of this, of, of, of appealing to common sense <clears throat> to solve this problem. And common sense types are, again, like, like perception or observation. And uh, um, if I can just read, what the, like, there's a proposition which kind of explains this well. Uh, the relevant type for any, for any belief forming process token is the habit of mind or belief forming strategy that it instantiates. Um, or the, the next one, two process tokens are of the same relevant type if and only if they, they generate beliefs at the same level of, ge of ge 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 generality. Common sense types, according to Fell and Connie, thus do not stand scrutiny as candidates for, to, to provide a satisfactory solution to this to this problem. So neither of the of the propositions given by those like Alvin Goldman do not really give a good solution, as you might as you might understand. I could kind of go on to explain that, but I think it's kind of obvious how this is a huge problem for the for the reliable approach. However, um, there's really not a whole lot going on for the common sense types, really. Um, I think, uh, um, for, and one big problem that I say is that there are far too many common sense types to, to provide a unique identification of the, of the relevant type for each process token. So we still need to be told which one determines the justificatory status, status of the resulting belief. So I think it's pretty clear that the solution of common sense types is kind of not so. Um, and the next one is um, the idea of science and, and appealing to not to like to naturalist th thought processes and uh, um, science in, in science in, in general. <clears throat> and Alston and Goldman and Bergen also all kind of. I'll kind of s s support this. One way of going about it is looking at natural kinds, the, and that is the relevant type for any for any belief forming process token is the, is the natural kind to which it belongs, um, and that's appealing to natural kinds, um, which I don't really see a solution in that. The next idea of science would would be that of psychological realism, the. Uh, the relevant type for any process token is the, is the natural psychological kind corresponding to the, to the function that is actually operative in the formation of, of the belief. And the whole goal of these things, of, of all these solutions, is to narrow things down. Is to narrow things down and basically reduce generality. And I don't think, as Feldman and Connie are, are pointing out, I don't think any of these thus far have, have been doing that. Uh, the next thing having to do with science, maximum maximum specificity and narrow causal types. The 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 relevant type for any belief forming process token T is the natural kind that includes all and only those tokens sharing with T and all the same causally contributory features from the input experience to the resulting belief. But that but that doesn't yield a unique type for each process token, but the but but, but the reliable the, the the reliable theory of justification that employs this is seriously defective. This I think would have some promise if um, there would be more constraints put on it. Um, personally, what I would think what I would think more to do would be to switch to the evidentialist internalist side of things, which would be, would be to basically reject reliabilism um, um, and then he kind of talks about constraints um, which comes from Frederick Schmidt um, constraints and, and, and context um, Schmidt, Schmidt pr proposes five constraints on which process types are, are relevant and, and then appeals to the constraints in describing problem cases According to Schmidt, relevant, relevant processes are cognitive processes. His, his constraints require, among other things, that relevant types are salient, that they are folk psychological process types, and that tokens are the same type 
are intrinsically similar. That would be good if they had, um, that, that, that would, I think that would be helpful, but if there's still a lot of defects there. Another thing is context, um, which is that in, in any context, see, if a person says something of the form S knows P or, or S is, is, is justified in believing P, the relevant type of the belief forming process is contextually is, a, is the contextually de determined type for the phrase the process leading, leading to us is belief that P relative to, to context C. That, I think, there are some truly um, interesting and good things here um, as, to the, as to the solutions, but I still have to be on the side of Feldman and Connie that um, things are kind of sketchy and um, bleak as to solving this, this, this issue. Um, you would really have to have some serious constraints that would not be too strong, but would still narrow things down as to uh, picking out, you know, given any certain process token um, or a certain causal, causal sequence of events being a process token, you would have to really narrow down what type that thing falls under as to, as to evaluate its relevance and as to how it leading to a belief would justify such a belief. So let me know if I left, if I left anything out and thank you.